It was impossible both to quantify and to exaggerate the expectations of the 2008 Wimbledon men's singles final. Before the players had even stepped onto center court, they'd already redefined history for a third consecutive year. For more than a century, no two men had played each other in both the Roland Garros final and the Wimbledon final in the same year, until Roth and Roger. And they did this in 2006, 2007, and again in 2008. At the time, together, they owned 12 of the previous 13 major singles titles. And for this edition of Wimbledon 2008, they were seeded one and two. An all-time high of 10 million pounds were staked on the match by bettors around the globe, besting the previous record by about 2 million pounds. A nod to their overall rivalry, the match took on a symmetrical nature. Despite a vast difference in their playing styles, their dominant hand, and their approach to the game itself, it was a back-and-forth contest. So much so that as the fourth set ended, 302 points had been played. Nadal had won 151 of them, and Federer had won 151 of them. The mathematical stalemate continued. By the fifth set, at four games all, 354 points had been played. Federer, 177. Nadal, 177. The public was so enthralled by this particular Wimbledon final that they sat in the dark until its conclusion which caused a massive power surge in London when viewers finally flipped on their lights afterwards, symbolically illuminating the trophy held high by the winner. Ten years later, these guys still can't help but rewrite record books, ranked 1-2 in the world, with each of the last six majors in their collective trophy case. By this point, Federer had won 20 career majors, Nadal 17 the two highest totals in men's tennis history.